Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now I've had a busy day homeschooling, lots of things to organise and I finally had some takeaway and I'm ready to show you these lipsticks which arrived today. So I have, I bought all three as you know, um, but those of you that watch me on my live will know that I bought all three and we are talking about the new release from Charlotte Tilbury of her lipsticks that she bought out for um, Chinese New Year. Now you'll remember last year, because I always keep the special edition packaging, she bought out this, which was for Chinese New Year, and that was called Magic Red. Um, this year, she's done the same thing. She's bought out a red-topped magic cream, but this time three lipsticks. Two of them are Matte Revolution, and one of them is a kissing formula. And I couldn't decide between them. And I like bold colours, so I got them all. So that's great, because I can swatch them all for you. Now, I did check the amounts, because once bitten, twice shy. And they are the same size as all her other ones. So there's no difference there. The price is slightly more expensive. Um, but she often does that with the ones in the special packaging. So instead of, I think they're normally 25 or 24, 25 I think, forgotten now, but these ones are 28 pound each. So they come in this packaging that you push up. So very like the, um, uh, the hot lips too. I like this style of packaging, I think that's quite nice. And then inside you will see that you get this red bullet and you get the diamantes just to show you the difference between last year's and this year's so that was last year's one so you got basically what her normal lipstick is but it's kind of was just colored red this is a smooth bullet with little diamantes it's very very pretty I took some lovely pictures of this earlier on anyway I'm going to show you all three colours in the bullet here now, not the swatch, just them in the bullet so that you can see them. Okay, so as I said, there's two matte revolution formulas and there is one kissing formula. And I knew when I went for these that I had to get the kissing formula because I love, it's my favorite formula. I prefer them far, far more than the matte formula. The matte formula, not bad at all. Feels different, feels slightly lighter. Um, I can't quite put it into words, but it just feels perhaps a little bit sheerer. Not bad, um, but feels a little bit sheerer and a little bit more lightweight than a previous Matte Revolutions. I don't know whether that's just in my head, but it, it just feels like that. So anyway, I'm gonna swatch them for you. And of course I've done some picture swatches. Um, this one, I think a lot of you are interested in is called Lucky Cherry. And that is the kind of true red. It's what we kind of associate with Chinese New Year really isn't it that lovely red color and I interestingly enough obviously she's bought out reds before but it's quite an interesting red it's it's true red it's quite bright but I'm not sure that it, it there's anything quite like it in her range although she has got you see that to me does not scream I've been I've still got swatches from earlier on when I took the photograph. Ignore that. So that to me is nothing like, for example, red carpet red, um, because it's a lot brighter. But when I, I, often when you get a red that's bright, it looks more orange, but this doesn't. So I, it's quite an interesting red. And I think it would suit a lot of people. So that one is called Lucky Cherry. Um, then we have 
the other Matt Revolution one, which is called Rose Wish. And Rose Wish is, it reminds me a little bit of a lighter, think lighter version of Birkin Brown. Lighter version of Birkin Brown, but not as nude as Super 90s. And, and slightly darker version of um, Stoned Rose. That's what I kind of think. But I am going to do some swatch comparisons um, at the end. A few that have been requested. And of course, if you have any other requests, please do let me know. I mean, I could go through my entire collection, but I'm not going to do that. I'll wait for you to ask me which ones you'd like to see. Okay? But I know I've got a few requests from Stacey. Um, so, and then we have, this is the kissing formula. And this one, I think you can see when you swatch them why I love the kissing formula so much. This one is called Sweet Blossom. And I'll just swatch that here. It's just so creamy. Just don't look at those. I just haven't washed the swatches off from late, earlier on. It just looks so pretty and it's so moisturising on the lips. I wish you'd done that red in the kissing formula. I really do. I quite like a glossy red. Um, okay, so those are the swatches and you're going to actually see a picture of the swatches here. Okay, so let's do some lip swatches, shall we? So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the kissing formula and show you that. Now I'm wearing today, I'm wearing the Stoned Rose Instant Look in a Palette. So I think this would go quite nicely with this actually. And I'm not gonna put any lip liner on deliberately so that you can see it as it is uh, with nothing underneath. I love that and I don't have anything like that. It's sort of an orangey brown on the lips. But I actually thought on the website it was gonna be more browny than that. And actually, yeah, it, on the swatch you can see it looks a bit more red. But I like that because I don't have anything like that. Um, and I can't think of anything that's that similar in Charlotte's. I'm trying to, the, the, as I say, maybe a little bit stone rose. But I really, I, nothing is leaping out at me as, oh, that's similar too. Um, just very, very pretty. So it's kind of an orangey brown. But you see, I've got corals but this isn't a coral. And I've got browns, but this isn't a brown. It's somewhere between browns and oranges. Beautiful. And goes really lovely with stoned rose. Right, let's move on to the next one. I'll take this off and I'll be right back. Okay, let's move on to Rose Wish. And I think a lot of you would be quite keen on this. So this is this is what I would say is a kind of lighter version of Birkin Brown, um, a richer version of Super 90s. It's definitely not a nude brown. Um, I'll put it on, see what you think.
So this is going further towards the brown end. It's it's a darker version of the kissing one that I've just shown you. But again, I there's nothing that leaps out at me. I think it's quite different to most of her lipsticks. Because it's got too much orange in it when you put it on to look like Birkin Brown. And it doesn't look nude, so it doesn't look like Super 90s. Really lovely autumnal colour. Okay, let's move on to the red because I'm sure that's what a lot of you are waiting for. Um, I was really interested in the red. Okay, so this one's called Lucky Cherry. Now I think this is a really wearable red. I'm thinking Emma here. Emma who feels a little bit self-conscious of wearing reds. Now I put a few swipes on that because I always like my lipsticks to look bold. But actually you could put this on just one swipe and it would be very wearable red. Okay, now the obvious, the obvious swatch comparison has got to be, we've got to look at last year's, don't we? And I haven't looked at these yet. So I'm going to, obviously with the red, because they only bought out a red last year. So that is this year's one, Lucky Cherry. And let's look at last year's Magic Red. Yeah, a lot deeper, look at that. A lot deeper, and I think generally her reds are a lot deeper. Even uh, red carpet red, which is quite a true red, is a lot deeper than this. This is going more towards your hot Emily, but there's no orange in it at all. So it's kind of that kind of brightness of hot Emily. So think brightness of hot Emily, but no orange in it. It's a true red, but the brightness of hot Emily, which is quite a bright, orange coral so I'm just going to swatch these two together so that you can see so this year's Chinese New Year red you see what I mean when you do one swipe it's quite sheer but it would be a really nice everyday red for somebody that feels a bit intimidated by reds and this was last year's which was more of a kind of it's got more blue undertone to it. Looks almost purpley red. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. If I blot this lipstick down. It makes it a really wearable red to wear in the day it goes really nice with this as well because red and gold goes really nice of course when I put on a red I like to really own it <laughs> and wear it like this Okay, so let's get on to some swatch comparison requests, shall we? I've had a few in already, and please do leave your requests below. I've got most of Charlotte's lipsticks now. Um, so, yeah, just leave your comments below, and um, I will get back to you. But let me just go and check the swatch requests that I've had. Okay, so let's do the reds first. So I've had a request to compare Lucky Cherry with So Marilyn and also um, 
Red Hot, no, Patsy Red. So I've got Red Hot Susan as well, but I'm not actually going to compare that with this one. I might compare it with one of the others. So let's have a look at Patsy Red. You've all got such good eyes actually, because this does look quite similar in the bullet. There's Patsy Red, and there is the new one, which is called Lucky Cherry. So can you see those? I'm just gonna put my hand behind it. So Lucky Cherry is kind of a, it's got more orange in it. And Patsy Red has got a bit more of a blue undertone to it. So I'm going to put Lucky Cherry on this arm here and then I'm going to swatch Patsy Red underneath it. Okay, can you see that? I've still got some staining on my arm. All these red lipsticks don't want to come off. So you can see this one looks more, it's got more of a, as I say, more of a kind of blue background to it. This one's more of a true red, really. Okay, and the other one that Stacy requested that I compare it to was So Marilyn. So let me get that one. It's here in my little stack. Okay, so here is So Marilyn. I think you can see that that's quite a bit darker and it's also got a bit more brown in it might actually be closer to the other one so Marilyn the one I keep forgetting the name of lucky cherry so I'm gonna put so Marilyn underneath here so that you can see that yeah, and it comes out a lot darker. I really don't think that there's anything that similar. If anything, I would say that the closest thing, I might get it in a minute, is going to be something like Tell Laura, which is actually a bright orange. But it's kind of got the brightness of an orange, but it's red, if you get what I mean. Right, I thought... Before we move on, because Stacy has put in some other swatch requests for the other lipsticks, um, I want to just show you some of the other ones, the other Charlotte Tilbury reds, so that you can see them next to. So here we have Karina's Love. Now I was wondering about Karina's Love. So that again is the new one and that's Karina's Love Again, I'll just put my hand behind so I'm gonna swatch Karina's Love under there yeah that's got more of a blue background as well It almost looks pink on my arm, Karina's Love. I love Karina's Love, by the way. I really love it on me. Okay, so that's Karina's Love. And then I thought, just for comparison's sake, not necessarily that they are that similar. So this is red carpet red. So that's your true red. So do you see what I mean about it being a lighter version of a true red and I will get tell Laura before I'm finished just to show you what I mean about it being that kind of brightness but not orange so this is red carpet red and by the way red carpet red is almost identical to Max Ruby Woo so if you're looking for something similar to Max Ruby Woo in Charlotte Tilbury, it's Red Carpet Red. They are very, very similar. Right, and then what else did I have? I put some other things. 
Love Bite, because I thought, ah, now, Love Bite may just be the closest one yet. Still not quite the same. But I think that might just be the closest one yet. Now, Love Bite is a kissing formula. So when I said to you all, I wish you'd done it in a kissing formula, I need to go back to my Love Bite, don't I? Because that is a kissing formula. So there is Love Bite and there is... I keep forgetting the name of it. What is the matter with me? Lucky Cherry. Love Bite, Lucky Cherry. I think that's the closest, but you can see it's, it's, Lucky Cherry's more sheer than, than Love Bite. But otherwise they're very similar. I'd say that's the closest. Tempted to put that one right next to it. I might do a swatch of that. Let me just show you so that you can see how close they are. So this one is Love Bite. Let's have a closer look. And this one is Lucky Cherry. Mm, see, close up, maybe not. But I still think that's the closest so far okay so let's move on to i've done that one that was for something else not for this okay so those are the kind of reds um that we've we've done now i did want to look at let me let me just get the one that i mentioned um tell Laura because I think then you'll see what I'm getting at about it being that level of brightness but not orange okay so here is tell Laura do you see what I mean now I'm going to show it next to that other one lucky cherry very close now do you see what I mean this one looks orange this doesn't look orange, but other than that, they're very close. So again, I'm going to put Tell Laura right at the end of my swatches here. But I'm also going to put it here so that you can see that one next to that one. The one in the middle is Love Bite. So it is very close to Tell Laura, but if you like Tell Laura but want it with a bit more red in it, then this is the one that you're going to like. And then I'll show it next to the other ones. Do you know what? I love Tell Laura, just a little bit of an aside. But my other half put me off. Because the last time I wore Tell Laura, I put it on, I was feeling all confident, and he said that I looked like the Joker out of Batman. <laughs> Since then, I haven't wanted to put it on again. And I love it. I'm not going to let him put me off. Right, let's move on to the next lipstick, shall we? I'll take a picture of all those, and then wipe all of this off so that I've got a fresh arm. Otherwise, I'm just going to be covered by the end of this. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'll put Rose Wish on for the next one because I'm going to do some comparisons. And as I said, there's nothing really. So Stacey hasn't asked any swatch requests for this one. Um, I am wearing this one. I've just changed over. I'll put it on my lips. 
so I'm just going to remind you guys what this looks like now the one that kind of I'm sure there must be more so please I'm sure you're screaming at the screen so that's like such and such alley but the one that I thought it looked quite close to was Red Hot Susan but let me just swatch this next to it and we'll see not really right I'm gonna get you Birkin Brown and Super 90s to put next to it because I think Birkin Brown is probably a darker version of a similar um, but otherwise I, I can't remember anything like it please do ask me if you've spotted something um, and you think that's really like such and such can I see a comparison with it do let me know I'll just get Birkin Brown okay so here is Birkin Brown as you can see quite a bit darker but I think it's useful to see it in comparison with the other one and you can see a lot more brown in it this has got a lot more of a kind of russet brown a reddy brown in it and then I thought I'd show you super 90s um, just again for comparison sake they're not going to be exactly the same but I just can't think of anything else that's very close to it this is going to be as I predicted a kind of nuder version of it but really I think that that is quite unique now I did want to compare it to stone rose but for the moment I can't find what I've done with my stone rose it's probably sitting in a makeup bag somewhere um, I panic when I miss one of my lipsticks but um, I really don't think it's like stone rose anyway stone rose is a lot lighter than that so um, I'm not too worried that I can't find it right now um, so let's just move on I'll leave those swatches below and we'll move on to the last lipstick which is the kissing formula called Sweet Blossom okay so we're now moving on to Sweet Blossom which I put on my lips and I've been asked by Stacy to compare Sweet Blossom with two lipsticks Glowing Gen and In Love with Olivia which I think I've got a lot more pink in them but we shall see I may be wrong um, I haven't swatched them yet and I haven't removed the last swatches let's do it on the other arm okay so we've got Sweet Blossom which is there okay and then I'm going to show you the two bullets together as well so then we've got In Love with Olivia which as you can see is quite a bit lighter so that one is Sweet Blossom and that one is In Love with Olivia so I'll just swatch that next to it for you and this looks a lot more orange on the lips it might be worth me getting Karina's star out as well um, as it's a little bit darker as you'll see now I will show you the other request which was um, Glowing Gen and again I think this is going to be too light but perhaps not quite as light aha a little bit closer but a different undertone So let me just swatch you Glowing Gen. This has sort of got more of a purpley pinky undertone.
and let's just quickly try Karina's star. Be right back. Okay, here's Karina's star. I forgot that Karina's star, I think, is a matte revolution. But again, quite similar-ish. Let's do Karina's star. Again, I think it's more... Yes, it is a matte revolution. That one doesn't... Doesn't want to go back down. Oh! Ah, it's come off. It's like mixing. I would say if you mix Karina's Star and Glowing Gen together, you'd get that. Yeah. That and that mixed together equals that. Definitely. Okay, so... I hope that's been helpful. As I've said, any other requests, anything else that you think, I really want you to compare it with that. Please do leave your comments below. And I'll try and do a live tomorrow and I'll put some more comparisons, requested swatch comparisons on the live, okay? I'll be less busy tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to fit one in. I'll just leave you with those swatches now. And pictures of me in all three of the lipsticks um, and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me and see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.